Hello kids, hope you all are doing fine back at home. This year we are going to learn many new things. But today there is a small little girl named Meena. She has invited us all to her small village. Let's go and meet her. Hey Meena, how are you? Hello friends. I'm fine. Let's take a break from studies and I'll show you around my village. There are many animals, birds and trees around my village. You know, the sunrise over here looks stunning and beautiful, isn't it? Every day I take a morning walk and while taking morning walk, I can see the clear sky. Look over there. There's an eagle flying. I think it is behind something. Oh, there is a baby sparrow. I think the eagle wants to catch it. Friends, do you think these birds live up there on the sky? No. They live on the trees and you can see there are many trees around my village. If you will look carefully, you can see there is a nest. The birds build nest for their young ones. And even I can see a very wise owl sitting on one of the branches. So friends, do you think only the birds stay on these trees? No, there are many kinds of animals like monkey and the naughty squirrel who live on these trees and they eat whatever they can find on these trees. Look children, there is a pond over here. Let's go and see who stays in this pond. Here comes a hungry crocodile and his friend frog. They stay in this pond and the frog hops. Along with the frogs, there are ducks and swans who swim in these ponds and sometimes they stay in these ponds. Now, if you can see a crocodile, snake, Chameleon and a lizard, they all crawl along the ground and they are known as reptiles. Let's move further. I can see a farm over here. There are many animals who stay on the farm. Let's visit this farm. So oh, many animals on this farm, isn't it? I can see. A cow. You know, a cow lives in a barn. Horse lives in a stable. Hen, they live in coop. And the pigs, they live in the pig stays. Now I'm very tired. Let's go to my home now. There are many animals in my home also. I have a pet dog cute cat, fish and few beautiful birds in my home. Most of these animals like dogs and cats, they walk. But fish, they swim in the water and the birds, they love to fly as they have beautiful wings. So children and my dear friends, Today we have learnt and seen that animals can be differentiated on the basis of their various features. For example, movement, area where they live and their size. So, today I thank you all for visiting my village. Bye-bye till we meet next time and keep learning.